Assalamu alaikum students. Uh, today we will talk about uh, the bacterial blight of rice uh, that is caused by Xanthomonas oryzae, Pathwar oryzae. Uh, we will talk about symptom, disease cycle, epidemiology and management of bacterial blight of rice. So what is the causal organism and its order and, and family uh, of uh, bacterial leaf blight of rice? Uh, so uh, that uh, the Xanthomonas rice, PV rice belongs to order Xanthomonadales and family Xanthomonadaceae. So, what is the historical perspective of uh, this disease? This disease first time uh, occurred in 1884 in Japan, and then uh, it was reported in Africa in 1970 and in Pakistan 1977. Most important. Uh, disease, bacterial disease in all rice growing areas and uh, in the literature up to 50% yield reduction uh, is recorded in the uh, world production. So, What are the symptoms of uh, the bacterial blight of rice? Yellowish stripes on leaves appear here you can see uh, these yellow lines or stripes appear on the leaves and later on uh, these uh, uh, stripes uh, turn uh, white and, and grayish here you can see white or grayish uh, color of these uh, uh, layers and uh, after infection the infected leaves dry quickly uh, that is very important uh, uh, symptom of uh, this disease uh, in the young uh, young lions uh, bacterial ooze uh, can be seen and venicles remain sterile and, and unfilled there is no grain filling in the venicles uh, so what is the disease cycle of uh, this uh, disease uh, here you can see the pathogen survives in the stubbles and infected ratoons and then uh, the bacterial cells uh, enter through wounds, tomato and hydrothodes uh, into the uh, plant tissues and multiply there and uh, a secondary infection uh, takes place uh, through the irrigation water, wind and trimming tools and uh, pathogen uh, causes infection in the healthy plants and then it survives and cycles uh, starts again. So what are the epidemiological conditions or environmental condition that favors uh, the development of uh, uh, bacterial blight of rice? Uh, temperature uh, from 20, 25 to 30 degrees centigrade is favorable for the development along with the high humidity that is more than 80 percent. Similarly, rainfall and uh, deep standing water helps the development of the disease. How we can manage uh, the bacterial blight of rice? Uh, there are some uh, resistant varieties uh, that could be used. For example, Super Gold 2019, Nayab Super uh, 2021. Uh, balanced nutrients could be used, uh, especially the nitrogen and potash for the uh, management of the disease. Uh, similarly, uh, field sanitation uh, is important and and sorry, uh, ensuring uh, the good drainage uh, in the field uh, could be helpful. Similarly, seed treatment with uh, 0.1 gram streptocycline, 0.1 gram copper sulfate or 0.3 gram agrimycin, 100 uh, per uh, kg of uh, seed could be helpful. Uh, similarly, 0.1 gram of copper oxychloride in 1 liter of water for uh, 20 minutes uh, could be helpful for seed treatment. Similarly, foliar spray of uh, 0.05 gram streptocycline and uh, 0.05 gram uh, copper sulfate uh, could be helpful for the uh, chemical control of uh, bacterial blight of rice. Uh, that was all about uh, the bacterial blight of rice. I hope you like this video. Thank you very much.